This is a stimulus update and daily news report. Got some important updates to share with you. We'll talk about the increase in big payouts for Social Security recipients. We'll talk about the COLA, where that number is now, and when it'll officially be announced for 2023, and the $2,400 boost to Social Security recipients per year. What's going on with that bill in Congress, and when will it get approved? And the $1,400 stimulus checks that just go out to Social Security recipients. Where's that at? What's the latest with that? And when it comes to stimulus checks, three stimulus updates you must know to get $1,700 ahead of October 2022 deadline. See the exact dates now, and I'll give you some other important updates as well. Hope you're having a more than Monday Monday. If you appreciate the fact-based, fast-paced updates, hit the like button down below. So why October is a critical month for retirees on Social Security. So Social Security Administration will be announcing the latest cost of living adjustment, also known as the COLA, and seniors could receive hundreds of dollars more per month in 2023. So October 13th is the big day less than a month away of when the COLA will officially be announced, but where are the numbers at now and what are the predictions for that? So how much will your Social Security benefits increase in 2023 based on current inflation? Each year, Social Security benefits are increased to account for inflation and the calculation for the cost of living adjustment still isn't final, but we just got another piece of the puzzle. So uh, there's a lot of things that go into making this decision, mainly what the inflation rate is at. So so it was 5.9% for the year of 2023. The latest numbers that they're coming out with here is 8.89%. 8 .8 so that's the latest colon number. So whatever you're making now uh, per month, multiply it by eight, or you know, find out what 8.8% .8 of that is, then add it to that amount, right? So for basically for every hundred dollars, you're getting an extra eight dollars and eighty-nine cents to keep things simple. So that is the latest number, not official yet, but that could be what it is. And they're predicting it's gonna at least be 8% or higher for the COLA. Uh, it's not official yet, as I mentioned, still there could be more numbers that come out uh, related to the economy and things like that. Uh, check my earlier video if you wanna see the latest economic numbers and data, when inflation will go down, you could check out that video after this one. And then when it comes to the $2,400 boost. What's going on with that? So Sanders, Warren, and colleagues introduced legislation to expand Social Security by $2,400 a year and extend solvency for 75 years. So this came out, probably reintroduced June 9th of 2022, and we're already in September. So what's going on with this bill? Why is Congress taking so long and delaying? Well, there are some lawmakers who are calling on Congress to actually do something about it. So California lawmakers call on Congress to pass a bill to shore up Social Security. California lawmakers recently approved a joint resolution on asking Congress to pass a Social Security expansion proposal, and the bill called Social Security 2100. A sacred trust would require those with incomes of more than $400,000 to pay more taxes toward the program. Such a change may help prevent a funding shortfall that would reduce benefits California state Senator Nancy Skinner told CNBC. So when it comes to this big bill, why isn't it going through? Why is Congress taking so long to approve this that could help so many millions of lives, especially those who are struggling the most? Why not just pass it and let people in Social Security live a better life? An extra $200 per month would make a huge difference to that group of people. Why isn't it being done? Uh, we'll take a look at this video clip giving more information of what's going on with this bill. People who received money from Social Security are expected to get a larger than average cost of living adjustment in January, but some seniors are wondering if they'll also get an additional $200 a month. Brandon Lewis from our National Verify team looks into it. We all know the cost of just about everything is going up, and it can be especially difficult for people on a fixed income. That's why each year Social Security makes a cost of living adjustment, which increases benefits based on inflation. Verify viewers Gary and Edward reached out to us at VerifyThis.com to ask if a bill would add even more money to checks on top of the annual adjustment. So let's verify. Would a bill give Social Security recipients an extra $2,400 per year in benefits? Our sources are the Social Security Expansion Act and the Senior Citizens League. The bill Gary and Edward are referencing is called the Social Security Expansion Act. 
It was introduced in June by Oregon Representative Peter DeFazio and Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. The bill would overhaul how Social Security benefits are calculated and add a Social Security tax to investment and business income of some of the wealthiest Americans. Also in the bill is a proposal to give an additional $200 a month or $2,400 a year to people who receive retirement, disability, and survivor benefits from Social Security. The extra $200 would be separate from the annual cost of living adjustment that Social Security already provides. The plan would not apply to those who get supplemental security income. So, yes, a bill would give Social Security recipients an extra $2,400 per year in benefits, but neither the House nor Senate have taken any substantial action toward passing it. It's currently sitting in committee. The Senior Citizens League says it would be difficult to pass the bill before the end of the year. Bills that aren't voted on before January 3rd will need to get reintroduced, starting the process all over again. Whether you're Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis. So that bill is just stalling in Congress. Not sure when it'll actually pass, when they're going to take it up. Uh, it probably not going to happen before the midterms, may not even happen before the end of the year, as you heard. Uh, which is unfortunate to hear. But let me know, should there be more help for Social Security recipients? Let me know your thoughts on that. Well, we'll go over this because this was another call for helping out Social Security recipients. Seniors Group calls for Congress to send $1,400 stimulus checks to Social Security recipients. Uh, so this article came out almost a year ago. And uh, it's crazy that the $1,400 stimulus check did not go through. So the Senior Citizens League was calling for these $1,400 stimulus checks just to go out to Social Security recipients. And the nonprofit group is ramping up its campaign for $1,400 checks for the recipients. Well, that ramping up did not do enough. This $1,400 check just did not go anywhere. Uh, so if you've heard about $1,400 checks going out to Social Security recipients, it is just kind of dead. It uh, didn't really go anywhere. It wasn't even created as a bill. Just a bunch of, uh, I guess, lobbying and calls for these checks. So that didn't go anywhere, unfortunately. And three stimulus updates you must know to get $1,700 ahead of the 2022 deadline. See the exact dates now. So uh, October 17th is a deadline to file their taxes and last chance to grab relief payments. Uh, so we'll go over a few of these. Illinois, up to $300. So millions of Illinois residents were sent direct relief payments worth up to $300 starting September 12th. Single taxpayers will get rebates of $50 while joint filers $100. And families with dependents will receive up to $300. And uh, yeah, so residents have until October 17th to file their taxes to get payment. So if you're in Illinois and you didn't file your taxes yet and you want that payment, make sure you file before October 17th, still have about a month. And then Rhode Island, $750. So eligible Rhode Island families may be able to receive up to $750 in a child tax rebate. Uh, Basically, taxpayers who filed by August 31st will start receiving rebates in October. All rebates will be sent by check and there will be no direct deposits. However, those taking advantage of the October 17th extended filing deadline, uh, those rebates will start being issued in December. And then Maine, uh, the $850 checks and $1,700 checks that went out over the summer, uh, same thing, tax returns. If they are filed by October 17th, then you could get that check later on, but make sure to file the tax returns. And yeah, talking about a few other checks as well, which I could go over in the future. Don't want to make these videos too long. But uh, anyways, that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully cheer you up a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hi guys, this is Bella. This is Tip of the Day. I want to tell you one of my favorite secrets. Adults don't know everything. And also, so I don't too. I know I'm really smart, but I don't really know as much things. You don't know as much things, but we're all going to learn. I promise. Ah. If you keep on working every day, I can, and we all can, and we can all be really I smart. Like smart. And we can all be really smart, like being a teacher or something. And and I help kids be smart. Come, let's read. 
Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all of your support. Uh, yeah, so busy day today, another busy day tomorrow. All is good though. Cut the grass yesterday, uh, at least partially until the battery ran out and those electric lawnmowers take way too long to charge to do it again. Uh, anyways, hopefully you had a great weekend. If you want to check out any of my other videos, my other channels, click right up here and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.